Best-selling author and New Orleans native Walter Isaacson has a new book out about a woman who won the Nobel Prize in Chemistry last year for her groundbreaking work on the development of genome editing. The reason this is so important is science now has a way to prevent or treat all kinds of life-threatening diseases, including viruses like the one that has gripped the world for the past year. I visited with Walter the other day to get the story behind his new book called Codebreaker. Walter, the one thing good about being our age is we've both been vaccinated, so the CDC says this is cool. I know, and we are uh, wonderful outdoors anyway, so I've learned to love the outdoors for meeting. Sitting in the courtyard of Walter Isaacson's French Quarter condo, I had a lot of questions about his latest book, The Codebreaker, Jennifer Doudna, Gene Editing and the Future of the Human Race. I was curious about why this woman and this subject. A lot of the books you've done are of people who are household names. Um, Franklin, Einstein, Jobs, uh, Leonardo da Vinci. I mean, uh, but, but I had never heard of, of, of Doudna. Yeah. Um, I mean, till, till your book came out. Well, I, you know, I had to tell my editor, who's been my editor for about 40 years, and as you say, I usually have lunch with her and I say, Leonardo or Steve Jobs, and she gets it. And this time I had to tell her, I want to do an unknown scientist with a hard to pronounce last name who's discovered something with an acronym that nobody knows what it stands for, CRISPR. And I thought she'd say, well, that's a really bad idea. But she said, life sciences are the next thing. And this sounds like a perfect, normal, regular, ordinary, but brilliant scientist to be the central character in your book. And, and she is a fascinating person. I mean, uh, I, 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 when the, the reading I've done about her and, and listen to some of the, the TED Talks and things she's done, um, I mean, she is on another level. Did you find that when you were talking to her? Or are you on that same scientific mind? No, you know, she is so down to earth. And I once wrote about Einstein, and I'll never fathom fully the brain of Einstein. Will any of us? But none of us will. But Jennifer Dowd, was just a normal person who was very curious as a kid, reads this book and says, oh, women can become scientists. She throws herself into it. But CRISPR technology and gene editing is not all that complicated. The system she created really only has two molecules, the guide RNA I told you about, and this enzyme that acts as a scissors. And when we talk about CRISPR, CRISPR is something I, I had never heard of till, till your book came out. CRISPR has been around for about a billion years. It's the way bacteria fight viruses. They take a mug shot of any virus that attacks them, a little snippet of DNA, and they put them in these clustered repeated sequences in their own genes hence called CRISPR. If the virus attacks again, the bacteria says, oh, I got that mug shot, I have this guide, it'll cut it up. And so that's what CRISPR does. What Jennifer Doudna and her team did, and Emmanuel Charpentier was say, oh, I get it. If you have a guide that can cut DNA that bacteria use, we can re-engineer it so it will cut human DNA at a target that we program in. So they were able to repurpose this thing that's been in nature for a billion years. And by the way, now that we're fighting viruses, I hope we give a shout out to bacteria who've been doing it quite well. So what bacteria does naturally, we could do in the lab and cure or, or work on a myriad of health issues. Right, what bacteria does naturally, which is create this little guide system that'll chop up DNA, Jennifer Doudna in June of 2012 published a paper saying, here's how I was able to do it in a lab, just in the test tube with just these three or four components. And it really is mainly just a single guide RNA and these scissors called an enzyme. And she was able to show how it was done. And that opened up this whole new era of biology where people around the world said, okay, here's how exactly we would do it in human cells. Now we have to look for cells in which there are genetic flaws. Some are simple. Sickle cell is a simple, single gene genetic flaw. So is Tay-Sachs, muscular dystrophy, cystic fibrosis. Those will be the ones which you edit first. We'll also be able to do, as I say, cancers, because our immune system can fight cancers, but cancers are pretty clever. 
and they can sort of turn off the immune system. You can use CRISPR to edit our immune cells, our T cells, so that uh, cancer can't turn them off. Jennifer Doudna was awarded the Nobel Prize with fellow scientist Emmanuel Charpentier. Of the 185 people who have received the Nobel Prize in chemistry, Doudna and Charpentier are only among seven women to share that honor. The first woman to break the glass ceiling was Madame Curie. And all this is pretty groundbreaking stuff. Walter says if it seems very complicated, he worked hard to make it easy to understand. Actually, it took about five years of research for him to write this book. And he quoted Steve Jobs, who told him making something simple is a complicated task. And like all of Isaacson's books, uh, this is a joy to read. And I'm, I'm a big fan of, of Walter Isaacson. I know Shiba. you are. I definitely want to check this one out. I think the concept is so interesting. And like you said, he's had people whose names we instantly recognize. And now I love that he's giving shine to this unknown person and a woman scientist in a time when there's so much push to get more women yeah. involved in science. And th this, is, this is such important work that, uh, that she's doing. Uh, that really could change, the, the, you know, our, our, our outlook on disease and things like that. There's also talk about, you know, injecting it in, in embryos to do that. That's far off, and it, it crosses a line where a lot of people are uncomfortable, you know, because sure. you do designer babies, things like that. So, you know, even, even she is very skeptical about that part. All right, very cool that he worked yeah. on this for so long, and it's so relevant right now. So we'll all check it out. Thanks, Eric.